After months of coded messages, subtle hints, and fictitious rumors, Sombra will soon be hacking her way into Overwatch. So to prepare you for her imminent arrival and to give you an edge with the hero, we have all the information you're going to need as well as a quick look at her lore. Her weapon of choice is the fully automatic machine pistol. It's most effective at a close range, but its large number of bullets and high fire rate means she can still be a threat at medium range due to the sheer number of rounds she fires per second. The weapon's biggest weakness is its spread. This makes targeting smaller heroes quite challenging at medium range, and consistent headshots are unlikely unless you can get in close or they have large hitboxes. Thankfully, however, Sombra has the means to close the gap on her enemies in a couple of ways. The first is a translocator. Sombra tosses out a beacon which will bounce off walls and stick to the ground. Activating the skill for a second time will jump her to its location. She can use this as an escape button by setting it up somewhere safe before attacking, and if things don't go her way, she has 15 seconds to jump back to the beacon. Alternatively, she can use it aggressively to jump past enemy defenses, close in on an isolated foe, or chase someone down. Her second ability to help her move around the map is Thermoptic Camo, fancy speech for stealth. Sombra can become completely invisible for a short period of time, during which her speed is also boosted. Using any abilities, attacking or taking damage will instantly disable her camo, and running too close to an enemy will also make you more visible, so keep your distance. You will also be detected by wall hacking skills like Widowmaker's Ultimate or Hanzo's Sonic Arrow. Stealth combined with her translocator makes Sombra very effective at getting around the map quickly and undetected, allowing her to perform somewhat of an assassin role and pick off isolated targets. To aid her in this role even more, she has a passive ability which will allow her to see enemies with health that's below 50% through walls. Her last ability is Hack. After a brief channel time, Sombra can hack her enemies, disabling their abilities from being activated. As well as the obvious, this will also do things like lock Lucio into his current song, not let Bastion change mode, or stop a Reinhardt from putting up his shield. Hacking players will also let you know if their ultimate is charged or not. It's not just players that you can hack either. Turrets can be hacked and will be disabled for a short duration, and you can even hack health packs. Hacked health packs will only be available to your team and will also regenerate quicker. The hack also lasts a long time, currently one minute, and can be easily refreshed. You can even hack multiple packs around the map and then use your passive wall hack to see low health enemies headed towards them. Lastly, let's take a look at her ultimate. EMP is essentially hacking but on a massive scale. It will destroy enemy barriers instantly and also hack any enemies caught in the radius and within line of sight. This will be huge in teamfights as it leaves the enemy unable to effectively counter your team, giving them free reign to unleash their own skills and ults. Sombra will clearly be strong against support heroes. She can stop Mercy from getting a res or Lucio from saving his team. She also has an edge on heroes who rely on their abilities to get skills. Genji is a good example as he's left without deflect or his dash and up against a superior weapon. Her shield busting powers will also be effective against Zarya and Reinhardt in particular. She can provide a lot of harassment and will be slippery. During casual solo play, her ability to disable health packs will be very effective, but it's less of an issue in organized teams. Her ultimate will also be effective against teams using stall tactics like Mei and D.Va as it will disable their defensive skills. Her weaknesses are heroes like Winston who will easily knock her out of stealth and can chase her down. Some offensive heroes also have a clear edge. McCree's flashbang is faster than her hack, Tracer can dip in and out of range to avoid being hacked, and Farah can just stay well out of range. Lastly, Widowmaker's ult can be effective at tracking down Sombra, but if she can reach her, Widow will be an easy kill. Sombra was one of thousands of children left orphaned in the aftermath of the Omni Crisis. She survived her tough childhood through her natural gifts and overwhelming compulsion for hacking and computers. This eventually caused her to fall in with a tough crowd and join the notorious Los Muertos gang. While digging into some of the most rich and powerful organizations in the world, she uncovered a global conspiracy, but it also noticed her. With her identity revealed, she was forced to delete any trace of her existence and to go into hiding. She would later re-emerge as Sombra, complete with technological enhancements augmented into her body and an overwhelming drive to uncover the truth behind the conspiracy. She began a series of hacks and her exploits earned the admiration of Talon. 
She joined the terrorist organization and assisted them with cyber attacks against government-linked corporations across the world. Today, she remains as determined as ever to uncover the conspiracy and will manipulate both man and machine to do it. We will have a more in-depth guide into Sombra in the future where we will provide you with even more tricks and tactics to dominate the battlefield with her, but for now let me know what you're most excited about in regards to the new hero or the other announcements from BlizzCon. This has been Jason from Curse saying thanks for watching and enjoy the game.